Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about the scissor attachment that is made for the Wicked Edge knife sharpeners. I've been sharpening a bunch of scissors that I have around the house over the last couple months, developed a little bit of technique, got familiar with the process, and now I want to share some of that information with you today. The good thing about this scissor attachment is that it is easy to set up and relatively painless to use. So I want to go ahead and get into a bit more of that information and share my findings with you. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. There really isn't much to this scissor attachment. Basically, you have three prongs or angles on the bottom that you can set and be able to utilize depending on the angle of the scissors that you are working with. Uh, if you notice here that has the Wicked Edge logo, what you want is if you are right-handed, you want that pointing towards your left hand. If you are left-handed, you will want that logo pointing towards your right hand. There are two screws on top to basically hold the upper and the lower parts of the attachment together. And uh, what you want to do is, since I am right-handed, I'm going to have the logo facing here towards the left or towards my left hand. I'm going to just start out with the middle since I've sharpened my scissors already and pretty much know what angle I need to set them to. And all I'm going to do is place this scissor attachment here in the middle. Go ahead and tighten down the vise. And I am pretty much good to go and set up and ready to begin sharpening. Okay, so I have uh, an inexpensive pair of scissors here, but they do get used a lot. But for demonstration purposes, I figured this would be a good pair of scissors to utilize. So what I'm going to do here is just a regular standard uh, bevel that we have here on the scissors. And I'm going to go ahead here and place it in the attachment. Once it's in the attachment, I'm going to go ahead and tighten down that first screw. And I'll go to the back here and tighten down that back screw. And we are pretty much good to go. That's not going anywhere. So I have the scissors basically set up midway through the scissor attachment here. And now if your scissors don't come apart, you might have the other side of the scissors just kind of moving back and forth. What Wicked Edge recommends is that you could place a rubber band here to be able to hold it in place so that you could go ahead and sharpen the other side of the scissors. But as you could tell, these are holding pretty well, so I don't even need to do that with this pair. Now the next step would be to go ahead and get a marker and be able to color in that edge. Just a light coat of where the actual beveled edge is. And this is the same process that I utilize when sharpening my regular knives. If you want more information on this, you can go ahead and check out my initial video. I will place it in the top right right now, as well as in the comments and description field. These scissors are definitely a bit beat up, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the 800 grit stone. Generally, I try to stick with a thousand or above, just so that I don't take off too much metal off the scissors. But for the purposes here of this uh, fairly beat up uh, scissor blade, I'm going to go ahead and start with the 800. So I do have it loosened up here, and all I wanna do is try to find the right angle to match this up with by moving this bottom part back and forth. And here, looking pretty good, so I just want to go ahead and just make a couple passes, see if I do get that marker coming off. So all I'm doing is changing the angle down here, seeing which is best as far as me making a couple passes, seeing if that marker's coming off. That looks pretty good right about there, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten up this bottom. And my angle is good to go here. As you can tell, the marker that I put on on the edge is coming off and coming off nice and evenly. So now I'll basically just keep working this angle, making some passes up and down, getting the marker completely off, and basically looking to find a burr underneath. It's definitely getting there. A few more passes, a little bit more. Okay, as you can tell, this one took a little bit longer than it usually takes for me, but that is because the scissors were relatively beat up and never been sharpened before. Okay, so I want to go ahead and just feel for the burr down here. And I'm definitely feeling that. Now what I want to do is go ahead and change that around and use the thousand grit stone and just make a few passes over the blade with it. Always be aware, safety-wise, of the other blade being right here. So I kind of just try to keep my fingers away from it. Okay, 
as you get used to using this sharpening system as well as the attachments and specifically this uh, scissor attachment even just the sound that the stones make as you get more experience you'll realize when you're pretty much getting towards the end of the sharpening process and that sounds about good feels about good and I have my burr pretty much along the whole edge of this uh, scissor blade okay so got the burr everything's pretty much good to go and what I do want to show you is how I showed you that there was or in the beginning we went over the three notches that this has okay so so to be able to let's say take this apart I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the back screw loosen the front screw pops right out so as you can tell this has a relatively standard edge on it as far as being able to sharpen but other scissors might be a little bit rounded or more contoured and that is why there are the different options here so in case you need to tilt it forward tilt it back it does give these options I did place it in the middle but now if you needed to go forward you would place it on that angle if you needed to be up a little bit more you would place it on that angle so it's uh, pretty much built as far as this attachment to uh, conquer any of the different options that are out there now I'm gonna go ahead and switch out and get the 1500 stone and give that a few passes okay go ahead and feel for that burr feeling good definitely there next up I'll be using my 0.6 micro fine ceramic stone and when I use the ceramic stone, I like to just go up and down with it. It's a good idea too when you're knocking the burr off the edge, when you're done sharpening it, uh, be sure to clean it with a damp paper towel, remove any of these fine metal particles uh, that stick to the strop or in this case, the micro fine stones. It'll uh, make them last much longer and also prevent contamination. Okay, that looks and feels good to the touch. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. We just have that burr that we need to get rid of. So I'll go ahead and take the scissors out, fairly simple, and I'll have that burr here. And what I want to do is get the leather strout and go ahead and just rub it on there, getting that burr off. Just passing it through. Fairly simple. There we go. And that burr is now gone. Okay, so I just want to go ahead, test the sharpness. Feeling good. There's no burr. And we are good to go. Obviously, you don't want to sharpen the serrated edge or you're going to pretty much destroy it unless that is your goal to remove the serrated edge. Then you'd be good to go. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the scissor attachment. As you can tell, it was relatively painless. But what I do recommend, of course, is for you to get your practice in before you use more those uh, more expensive scissors that you have, whether you're a hairstylist or a chef or just have an expensive pair of scissors. Uh, go ahead and grab the cheaper that you have uh, scissors that you have laying around the home or the office get your practice in utilize the marker so that you can get the edge and uh, eventually over time it just becomes uh, second nature uh, to be honest I'm still a uh, novice when it comes to this but each time that I do it it's just getting easier and easier to get the desired sharpness that I need on my scissors so bottom line if you are looking for a great attachment that'll save you some money as well as some time and of course have a sharp tool every time that you go to utilize it definitely take a look at this scissor attachment by wicked edge